presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to Mike in Southern California. Hey, Mike, what's going on? Hey, Tom, nice to talk to you again. And I have to start out and first tell you, I love this trading room. This thing is great. This app, it works great. And uh, getting all the information, it, you're like instantly there. No delay, nothing. That's I know. Great. I Listen, Thank I appreciate again. your growling problem with us. Your channel is in my pocket all day long. It's wonderful. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, man. You Thank you. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week, we go seven hours a day, we go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. Let's make it a great week, folks. Be impeccable with your word. Release the need to be right. When you believe something, you assume you are right. You may even destroy relationships and not defend your position. Let go of the need to defend your position. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 105. NASDAQ is up 59. S&P is a flat. Gold, gold contract trading up $13.90 at $19.77 an ounce. You have silver down 8 cents, $23.27 an ounce. Light sweet crude down 3 bucks, $69.71 a barrel. Notes and bonds. A 10-year note up 25 ticks trading 113.06. The 30-year bond up a full point, plus 19 ticks at 127.07 and King Dollar. King Dollar right now trading down 64 ticks, 104, 142. The Euro is at 107. The Yen is at 139. The British Pound is at 123 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, we get a flat market out here. You had a market go topside last week. Bottom line, if we take a look at the cash, you're over the cash. You know, bottom line, that's saying next swing point is where this baby wants to go. And you have window dressing, too. So it shouldn't be that hard to get up in this particular case for the spy to get up into this uh, four, well, it's 11 points, 431. That's the next level up here. We got to take a look at the NDX 100, the three Qs, and that one there. Right now, you don't have the volume out here today, but that's well, not a big deal after the case of what we had last week, okay? Because last week, if I, the daily, the weekly, it doesn't, doesn't matter which one you put it on, it blew that swing point away. So your next swing up here is up at the 371, and right now you're at 350. So it's going to be like, okay, what, what's, what's the next big thing coming down? Well, we'll see how window dressing, you know, goes, because what happens is that we are right at yeah i mean it's going to be in full force tomorrow man so you know we'll see how this whole thing shakes out but uh it's going to be full force tomorrow gold gold contract out here that basically has too much volume at its lows we hit if we hit a low today you get two 252,000 contracts it's too much volume at the low this is i still confirmed abc structured out to 1902 and we go into notes and bonds, and it looks like notes and bonds. Let's see how we did this. I believe we rejected this lower price. Yeah, we did. So we rejected lower price. Now, this is how you want a rejection. Look at this, folks. You rejected lower price, and we haven't even done a million contracts. And we're coming into, I believe, 3 million contracts in the 10-year. That's how dramatic this is. We got to 112.03. 111.20 was the number. So it even didn't get down to that. If we just even take Fridays, yeah, rejected the lower price. Now we're going to see what kind of a bounce we get. The first bounce probably, a dead cat can still get you to 114.08. And we'll see whether it has more juice than that. Let me just put this up here for a second. Yeah, the 114. So the 114 is your 0.382. We go to the, the dollar. Dollar bottom line wants higher price. 
We made a high out here today of 104.535, a low of 103.879, and you're right in the middle of that deal. But that's a, that's a positive sign that this thing continues to want higher price. We take a look at some of the higher volume equities. This is going to be a low volume market out here today. Well, let's go to NVIDIA first, because NVIDIA is a trillion dollar stock right now. I believe the ABC structure of NVIDIA is 444 and hit 420 already. So, you know, we'll see how this, the rest of this shakes out. Now, what's interesting is that, see how you get two gaps like this? Well, if this is going to be a three gap play, we just might get one more gap. And if that's what you get, then this is going to get really intriguing. Because So the way a three gap play works is this, folks. If, in fact, we get a three gap play, you'll get one more gap. That'll be an exhaustion gap. You come down and fill the gaps, but you got to remember something. Where the gaps start, that's where it will basically take off again. So for all of us, if that's what we get, that would be a pretty cool deal because you get a blow away gap, then you find, start filling the gaps, and then bottom line to take off once again. Pretty intense, man. <laughs> there's, no, there's no doubt about that. We go take a look at the, some of the higher volume equities today, and, and this will be a low volume. Well, no, let's go to the oil market first. One second. We bring up the oil contract. So oil out here, this has been a highly volatile move on the way down. Yeah, couldn't handle it. This thing's going right back down to the, the lows. And if we take a look at CL1, I put the generic contract up. Let's see. Yeah, so you're building, you're building cause to break a big consolidation. Because this, if we break this consolidation, if we break, you know, the 67 mark, each time we've been down there, you know, we get down to the 63 mark four weeks ago. Six weeks ago, you get down to the 64 mark. In both cases, though, you're only there, you know, for a very short time. That's, that level there gets broken, and then oil's going to be in the $40 level. So not quite sure what's going to send it down to the $40 levels, but outside of selling. But that's how that baby is set up right now. We go take a look at uh, a couple of the other big dogs out here. Let's go take a look at Apple. Apple right now. That's not Apple. Apple set up. Apple hit 178.99 today. Right now we're trading 171.44. Amazon. Look at that. That high volume high. It wanted it, man. It took it and blew it away. 114. We're at 121. Oh, you got look at this. You got an ABC up in Amazon. This is an ABC up. B 118. This is a good one too. 17 bucks. 27, what is it, 30, yeah, 130, yeah, 121. Stay right there, folks, come right back. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. Dow, Dow's down now 109, NASDAQ's up 52, S&P's down one, come right back. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously when you sign up for the tiger forex report you also gain instant access to teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted forex strategies and fundamentals what is behind the tiger forex report for all the details and to start your 30-day tiger forex report subscription today visit the front page of tfnn.com tfnn educating investors are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. 
Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 90. You get the NASDAQ up 53. S&P's a flat. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Basil Chapman, as we do each and every Tuesday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, Basil does an outstanding show here every trading day, 10 to 11 Eastern Standard Time. Also has a great newsletter, the opening call. Now, it's very easy to get the opening call. Folks, come over to our website at TFNN. You go right into the newsletters, you're gonna see it on the left-hand side. You just hit that subscribe button. You can get it for one month for $149. Get it for six months for $6.95, which is a savings of $199 at 22%, and one full year for $11.95, which is a savings of $593 or 33%. Now, they all come with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Basil has about 10 great archives on the site, so as soon as you get it, you not only get a great newsletter every day, you're going to get those archives. You can go over them as many times as you like to really understand how Basil looks at that market each and every day. Basil Chapman, how you doing? I'm doing well, Tom. How are you? Great, great. When's that weather going to come in for you up in Boston? Oh, it's coming in right now. Is it beautiful? It's a fantastic good. weekend, and today's good. Going to tennis after this, and I'm looking forward to it. Outdoors should be great. Yeah, I was I was watching those tennis masters yesterday, man. One of them, the first one, I, I think they were playing in Spain. It lasted five and a half hours. I don't even know how someone could. I mean, that that a five and a half hour tennis match is pretty intense, man. Do you remember there was one at Wimbledon where Eisen was it Eisen? Um, these tall guys, they were six foot something. On uh, they went on for twelve hours. They went on through the almost through the night, and they had to pick it up the next day. I do remember that. Unbelievable. And that is he unbelievable. Has stamina for that. And they're not just hitting the ball, they are banging Seriously. the ball. Seriously. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I know. Big time. So I thought I'd do this. I want you to show you something. You know, in a chapter where we're always looking for the first, the most identifiable low bar, and then we count four successively peaks, peak A, then the next one's B, the next one's C, yes. C, yeah. and the fourth highest peak, peak D, is where other things can happen. Well, on Friday, the spy fractionally went to a leg D, and okay. the S&P failed. So I thought, that means you've just got enough room. Let's see what happens on Tuesday. Well, look at this. Today, we went to that leg D in the, um, in the uh, daily chart. A very quick yeah. E, and then, a, and then a pullback last week, and a leg E today in the weekly chart. So that's very interesting. And a couple of other things I wanted to point out was, in the context of... I, I mentioned this before. Um, we have a stock. 
It's called Symbotic. It's in the end-to-end AI, robotic, warehouse automation systems. And we've been in since about uh, 24. It's hitting 36 right now. But what I wanted to explain was, in a Chapway methodology, uh, years ago I discovered there's a pattern that people talk about a lot in investors' business study. Talks, uh, this is one of the key metrics that they use for technical indicators is the cup and the handle. Yes. I've never particularly liked it unless you get it exactly right because what happens is the handle, the, the price goes above and then it comes back into the handle. What I've loved is a technique that I discovered years ago called the Kevin Wave cup and ladle. You know how a la- the ladle goes straight from the, the, the right side um, yes. arch and it goes straight up? Well, what I've shown subscribers is that we have broken out from the 3217 high on the 17th of April, pulled back quite sharply, and that if in the, this, uh, this cup formation, if there is a very quick break from a peak B going to a C and it goes above the left side high, that says not only will you go to a C, but you should still go to a D. It's a very powerful uh, uh, tool and it's a very powerful pattern. It's very different to the cup and ladle. This is the cup, cup and handle. This is the cup and ladle. And look what happened. We spiraled in this vertical move up to leg D. Yes, there's a little doji candle. I'm getting a little cautious. The unbalanced volume's overbought, but the stochastic is flat at 95%, and the MACD is still expanding. So this is still showing some internal power. So I just thought I showed this particular pattern because it's, it's, it doesn't happen all the time. But when it happens, it can give you a really good benchmark because it says then that left side high that you're looking at, in this case at 32.17, that peak D, that can become a very powerful support level on any pullback. So um, I thought I'd show that particular technique. And then the same chart, I may as well mention that the, uh, the, the price time match that I always talk about, which is the symmetry of the number of bars on the left side to the number of bars on the right side. In the weekly chart, 28.48 was the high of the week of the 24th of June, and it broke, it out, broke out of that one week early in the time price match. And there's a technique that I use called the Chapman Wave Inside Wedge Target Resistance Line, and it went right to it a couple of weeks ago, pulled back, and now we've gone above it. So here again, you've got a 30, 34 support on, on the shorter term. So I thought I'd just show some of those techniques. And then another one that we had in the AI space, and as you know from NVIDIA, that AI has uh, really uh, come alive over the last two, three weeks. Um, This is the Global X Robotics and Artificial Intelligence ETF. So we've been long for a while, and uh, we watched it go up to a peak E. It pulled back. It's pretty much the same kind of design. And then it broke out to the upside, and now it's in a very extended leg, G slash C. And the two, it's got two gaps, just like you were discussing a moment ago uh, with NVIDIA. There are a lot of these charts. I, I, on any visual basis, you would say that we are getting really close to some kind of top. I was discussing this in my show this morning, and I'll show you here's NVIDIA. And NVIDIA, I drew this rectangle in to say... The, the, the peak and trough of the candle that broke out of the gap to the upside is going to be very important because if we close for two out of three sessions above the high that was made, uh, 394.80, I think that's what, yes, uh, three, three, sorry, that was wrong bar. Yes, yeah, 394.80, uh, two out of three sessions that's going to be very, a very good uh, action. And the other thing that I wanted to look at was the weekly chart also had this left side, right side price time match. And that's the chart in the middle. And what's really important about this is that you've extended from 293 all the way to today's high of 400. <laughs> I remember you talking about this just before the, uh, the earnings announcement. Didn't you say that, oh, my God, I think I've got a... Um, uh, you've got an A to B equals C to D. Yeah, it was an ABC up to 440, right, exactly. Yeah, it was amazing, yeah, and within hours it spirals up to that uh, level. Hey, so, so yeah, Basil, Basil, tell us about, I know you, because I want to get you some business here, 
You're going to be teaching at the MIT, right? No, this- I'm going to be giving uh, every every year, uh, once or twice a year, I, I give a talk to the Boston Investors Group. Right. So I'm giving one tomorrow, and it's online. Yeah. It's free. And all you have to do is go to Boston Investors Group Meetup, and it'll take you there. And then you can just, I don't know whether you sign in or what, but you should be very easily able to get to it. It's at 7 o'clock tomorrow, Wednesday. Okay. And uh, it'll go for about two hours. I usually go for about two hours. And, uh, you know, I did a a webinar a a couple of weeks ago, so I'll be doing some of that. And it's really looking at the next three months. What's working? What's not working? I'm even getting a couple of little indicators here that say there's a possibility that fine is a financial Okay, so, Basil, when they go go online, do they they search Boston Investor Group Meetup? Boston Investors Group Meetup. Okay, awesome. All you have to do, and it'll be right there. Folks, get over there. You're going to enjoy this thing. And and now it's online. So, hey, right across the country, right across the world, you can check it out. Basil, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show tomorrow. We look forward to the webinar tomorrow night at 7 o'clock. Thank you. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly gold report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African Rand, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den. Available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TF. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. So Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 63. NASDAQ's uh, up 62. S&P's up 3. So, chat GBT, folks, okay? There was a great article. I think this is in the... Yeah, I was in the Wall Street Journal. Maybe. Hmm. Sorry, but this is what it's about. Listen to this. This is pretty cool. If you've been playing with this, right? There's, I was talking about before that prompting is where it's at, but listen to how this works. It's, it's prompting. But 
these are two of the biggest prompts that will get you information that is much, much better than just asking a question. What you do is this. Before the question, you say, act as if. So let, let's picture that you're, if you're asking um, a, if you're asking, let's just say you're asking a banking question, right? What you would do is you'd say, at the beginning of it, you'd say, act as if you are, you know, you could put Jamie Dimon, you could put a, a big banker, and then ask the question. If you're asking about, you know, at, how to get in shape, act as if you're Michael Jordan. What do you do? Okay, now check this out. So that is going to give you the answer. Then the second one goes like this. What else do you need to expand on what I'm asking? Okay, now something that I didn't know also is this. So those two are big ones to basically get the artificial intelligence going. Now, what I've been doing is that I then, I've, you know, I'm just throwing questions out there and I was erasing them. Well, you don't want to erase them if you are actually trying to build out a model of something that, you, that it, uh, let's say you're trying to build a business, you, you know, you want more sales, you want to figure out how you could do something better. Don't erase what's on your lineage because the lineage, the chat GBT is also looking at your lineage, which I didn't know when you're pushing this stuff forward. So it's pretty cool. You're going to see a huge difference if you've been playing with this um, in the context of where it can bring you and how much more in depth you can actually get some of those answers out there. So a little bit of uh, artificial intelligence, which is going to be it, it, the things you can do with it, folks, already are like crazy. Well, they really are. And you, you got to remember something, though. <laughs> the bottom line is that it will that, that this is the easiest way to look at it about how it can throw out garbage. Everything that it's getting, it's getting off the Internet. So. That's why the bottom line is you can, you can throw some things out that have nothing to do with it. That's all garbage. Hopefully, most of the, you know, is common sense in our own aspect that you'll understand that, okay, you know, this is a, this is a situation where it's all BS. So we go from there to the, um, the debt ceiling, right? So this is going to get so intriguing now because now the deal is going to be all about whether a few Republicans are going to try to throw McCarthy out. So this is my take on how this thing, you know, I, I, of course, we had a long weekend. Tommy, the little Tommy Grants had we're, we're all over the house having a good time. So picture that one of the deals that Speaker McCarthy made was that one person can basically start the formal process to remove the speaker. Well, right before I got on the air, bottom line, Representative Dan Bishop from North Carolina said he's going to start the process. So when I was thinking about this, even over the weekend when it was happening, I suspect more than likely that probably came up in the negotiations also. And I might have said it last week. And I suspect what, what's also part of that negotiation um, is that if that's exactly what's going to happen here, maybe some of the Democrats are going to say, OK, we'll vote for you, you know, uh, you know, he, because he's going to need Democrat votes. We'll see where it shakes out, but <laughs> it's, it's going to be pretty wild um, because it's it is so close that, you know. This guy had 11 guys behind him when he just did it. And he literally just did it. Um, and he's claiming, he's just told reporters, the motion to vacate has to be done. You know, we'll see, we'll see where the whole thing's shaking out. But bottom, bottom line is that I don't think that's going to end up stopping um, the deal to get done. And we'll see whether there was a negotiation inside that negotiation in order to make sure that McCarthy stays the speaker. I suspect there was, because that's like kind of one person, 
Well, that's easy. All you know, if you if you've never been in Florida, Matt Gates is perfect for that. I mean, they, they get a bunch of them, but anyway, you get the gist of it. So we have window dressing that starts tomorrow. You get a market that's still at highs. We know that there's no doubt that it's the aspect of the, the techs that have pushed it. And we'll see how much more they can push it, you know. Uh, this oil thing is intriguing today because, you know, it's been in a downtrend for quite some time. The XLE wants to hit this high volume low. It's laying out here. And when I bring up, you know, the XLE is not, bad, not in bad shape. I mean, this is pulling back with light volume. So... I don't see the XLE in that bad shape. I'm trying to figure out why the actual contract, though, a $3 hit's a monster hit, man. There's, there's no two ways about that. that. That is a big hit, man. You know, it does have that high volume low the last time that it was there that has volume. You know, this baby here, you can see the volume is big down here. We were banging out uh, 412,000 contracts Today, you're going down with 414,000. If you bring this back a little, you don't have to bring it much. Um, you know, it, last time, I mean, we're coming to the bottom of this consolidation. And, you know, you break this. So the, the, the level, about 61. You know, you break a 61, and guess what? You are, you are going to have some heavy... Uh, uh, downdraft out here inside the oil business. Maybe maybe they'll find a whole bunch of new oil or something. Meaning, that used to happen quite a bit, you know, folks, okay? They'd, they'd have a big oil find, and then all of a sudden, the, the price would be down because they thought there was so much. One of the biggest scandals, of course, was the, the amount of oil that supposedly was in Brazil, Petrobras, off the coast, and, you know, that's still, <laughs> there's still not much to it, you know? That's the bottom line. And then we go over to, this is like pretty wild. I mean, you talk about the commodity business, that pot business, man, forget it, man. Evidently, you know, you got a canopy trading at 84 cents. 84 cents, yeah. So I think, um, I think they bought it. I think Constantial, Constant, 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 Constellation Brands bought it at twenty cent, twenty dollars, eighty-four cents. It's not much here. Nothing's here. Don't buy it. Don't buy it even at eighty-four cents. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, 
Trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. TFNN has launched the Tiger's Den. Hosted at Discord, TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. Sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders. Just visit the front page of TFNN.com. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is down 71. NASDAQ is up 854. SP's up one and a half. Let's go to Michael in Toronto. Michael, what's going on, brother? Yeah, hi. Thanks for taking my call. Uh, a couple things. Uh, Carl Icahn uh, Enterprises, ticker symbol I E T. So is this the, a Ponzi? the low in this uh, stock what, for the year is 18, the high is 55. Okay, so what about yeah. this now? What do you think it is? Is it a Ponzi? Is it imploding? Are we witnessing uh, an implosion of an iconic uh, hedge fund manager? Well, it has imploded. It just went from $51, you know, hit a low last Wednesday of $18. Yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't touch it. You wouldn't touch it at all, eh? No. Nope. Well, I mean, if you look at this, you see, you just, just, check, back stock? just check this out. I mean, I'm not quite sure. If you're wa watching my screen, this, this equity, he's always lost money. You see yeah. this? Every single, this goes back five years. So every single year they've lost money. Mm -hmm. So it was just a, it, for him, it was a great way of doing a master limited partnership. A, mm -hmm. a master partnership, actually, but that's, that's the, 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 the units are basically so, limited partners of the master what's partnership. Your what's, your, what's your prediction? Of where it's going? Is that what you're asking? Oh, I lost them. That's a bummer. Yeah, just don't touch it, folks. That's the bottom line. So, so what happens is this, is that on, I wonder if this is Oz. Well, Basil, that was all right. So what happens here, folks, is this. He always let, this is a great way of raising money, for sure, okay? And he always would either give the dividend in cash and or units. Units the same as um, shares. It's just that because this is the master limited partnership, so they call them units, okay? So he already owned 85% of it. It stayed steady for a long period of time until it didn't because the yield okay was so big that people wanted it okay now you can see this is not going to pay the next yield i mean you can see it's saying 35 percent he did pay the march now this is where this was tricky okay because i'm sure that you know when this first came down so watch what happened if we go back to april right that's when it imploded april 28th it looks like okay april 29th is it ever april 29th no, May 2nd. May 2nd imploded, right? And what ended up happening is that it runs down, then it does a pop up to 39. Now, what happened there is that he come out and he says that he, he will pay 
the dividend to owners of the units as of March 31st. Well, great. You get paid for March 31st, but if you still held that, the bottom line is that you just lost an additional, what, it went from 38 down to 19, okay? So you get the, I wouldn't touch this thing, you know? That's the bottom line. He's been telling you, you know, well, he, I just showed you that he's lost money forever. Now, on top of that, what's going on is that he pledged hundreds of billions of dollars of equities for personal loans. That's also public information, you know. So what ends up happening there is that, you know, the bottom line, you get another margin call and, you know, let's see what it says here. Let's see if I... Icon held talks with bankers about asset swaps and new fundraising, though those actions said to be on hold amid pressure from shareholders and the Department of Justice. He has a lot of problems, folks. And one of the main problems that was brought up in, I didn't read the whole Hindenburg report. I did read what was basically on Bloomberg and the Wall Street Journal. And one of the problems that they have him nailed on is this is that there's another small energy stock that he owns a huge amount of, that he bought the stock for the fund, and then he mocked it up 300%. <laughs> so it's trading at $2 and something here, and then inside the fund it's saying it's worth $6 something here. That's why the Justice Department's involved in it. Because, and it, what does happen, it seems like it happens all the time on these closed-end funds that they can mock to market. That, you know, who's mocking them to market? If the fund manager's mocking them to market, it's like, oh, you gotta be kidding me, you know? But bottom line is that he needs, he needs a miracle in order to basically get that equity going again because it's, it's been a vehicle for years for him, you know, to basically go after plenty of companies. But guess what? Looks to me like it's the end of the line. That's how that thing is shaking out. We go take a look at the, let's go take a look at the silver market. So silver, silver traded down to, let me get this. So we get down to the 2280 level. See the SLV, how this is setting up. Because what is happening in Mexico, if you have silver stocks in Mexico, you got to be careful, folks, okay? It's, there's a whole turn that's happening here that you want to be aware of. Yeah, see, this is, you got a little pop-up here today on the SLV, light volume. Now, this is not done yet. This looks to me, the, the SLV looks like it wants to go to $20.40. And you know, what, what's amazing about the DL in Mexico, there's always been um, the aspect of high risk in political, in the mining business because of politics, okay? Because most of the time, you know, you have the metals are in countries that, you know, bottom line, go back and forth about who's leading the countries, not Mexico. And now, the largest, they're one of the largest silver producers in the world. And now that's going to be a problem. And, you know, we'll see how it shakes out. But uh, it can destroy businesses like in about two seconds. You know, so the real question is going to be is that, yeah, I, I suspect what, what happened is the next thing that the silver bulls would actually say is that, well, if there's going to be less silver there, then it's going to be worth more money. Folks, what happens is this. The higher the price that, that gold does go, the more silver is going to be basically be in those mines as a as a secondary. The higher the price that copper goes, you'll also get more silver. That's how it works. Copper is not in great shape right now, but I'm just trying to explain to you. There's a lot of silver out there, you know, and yeah, and that's not even talking about the aspect that J.P. Morgan just continues to sell silver. I mean, they've been making so much money on basically, you know, doing the Martingale system on silver that it's insane and. What, if you don't know what that is, folks, okay, you just keep doubling, 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 and don't try it, because the only people that can do it have, that have unlimited funds, which would be a J.P. Morgan. 
Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 55. Nasdaq's up 49. S&P's up two. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks, to Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 77. Nasdaq's up 20, up 30. S&P's off uh, 3. Now, <coughs> this is going to get really, uh, this is convoluted actually but so check this out so you have the the security exchange commission right sending letters to private equity firms that steered their clients funds out of silicon valley national bank okay <laughs> it's like are you serious man so uh, this just came across the tape. The Security Exchange Commission Examination Unit has requested records of some investment firms, money transfers, and the investment communication over the first three weeks of March, as well as emails, according to people familiar with the matter, who asked not to be identified. Some questions focus on whether executives with personal accounts at the bank cashed out before the clients, where the deposits went. Now, I can picture that part for sure. Okay, but the bottom line is if you're, if you're trying to, you know, say that fund managers can't get the money out, well, that's a problem. Now, I, I understand what, the, I think I understand what they're saying now. What does happen is this, if that fund manager 
had their clients put the money in the bank and that fund manager didn't get the client's money out first, then that could be a problem. You know, it, it worked out that everyone's going to get their money, but the bottom line is that uh, that could be a problem. You know what is, is intriguing? Not everyone actually, when I just said that, everyone is not actually going to get their money. Who's not going to get their money, listen to this, this is intense, is that the folks that they, they had a lot of different subsidiaries, and right now, there's going to be a fight about this, but right now in the Cayman Islands, if you had your money in the Cayman Islands and your, your funds are in the Cayman Islands, and a lot of people do that, folks, because the fact of the matter is that if they're dealing outside of the U.S., if they, they keep the funds outside of the U.S., then there's no tax implications. Those people are not covered at all. Good old USA, see? I mean, it's a big difference, man. Always remember, folks, the bank can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Go get him, folks.